I can't believe it. The end of the season is finally here. It feels like it has gone on and on and on this year, doesn't it? Um, especially with the World Cup and the one that everyone always talks about is Tuchel and Conte's handshake, Spurs v Chelsea. That was this season. I still can't believe Ronaldo was playing for Man United this season as well. It feels like it was about three years ago. But anyway, yeah, the Scottish Premiership season specifically, we started it off at the very first game of the season, Livingston versus Rangers. We've obviously covered a lot of Celtic and Rangers, Celtic eventual champions. We've also seen seen a lot of Dundee United who look like at the end of today they could be down and out and into the championship. Um, I've also completed the premiership this year. At the start of the season I was still three grounds away from seeing a game in every single premiership stadium and now we've seen one at Livingston, we've seen one at Ross County and we've seen one at Aberdeen. We've actually seen a few at Livingston actually but um, yeah we've now completed the premiership, we've seen games at the mall um, and it culminates today. We've seen so many games up and down Scotland in every single league it feels like. Um, um, from the very bottom tier where we saw BSC Glasgow play three Rovers all the way up to the top of everything in between. Our Broth in the Championship, Kelty Hearts in League One, um, Bonnie Rig Rose in League Two, loads of stuff in the Lowland League and just, yeah, absolutely tons of Scottish videos. A massive thank you for all the support this year. I really, really do appreciate it. We're about to head to Rugby Park to see Kilmarnock against Ross County and whoever wins or if Kilmarnock get a draw, um, they'll be safe this year. So it's a bit of a survival scrap on the last day which is quite poetic I like that how it's finished like that for these two um, but yeah again a huge thank you for all the support this year I hope you've enjoyed the Scottish content there'll be loads more to come next season as well let's get down to Rugby Park for the last game of the season so look at this context today is as follows Dundee United are basically down um, they need look an eight goal difference swing so they need to win like 5-0 and hope that Ross County lose 4-0 or something um, for them to even just get to the relegation playoff spot. Kilmarnock is safe from automatic relegation. If Ross County win today they will go one place above Kilmarnock which means basically today's a straight shootout for whoever's going to finish in that relegation playoff spot who's going to be playing Partick Thistle for a place in the Premiership next season. So it's a big game today for both clubs. Tony and Jordan. So two Kilmarnock supporters. Yeah. How would you say the season's gone? Uh, the season's gone okay. We probably could have done better, but the yeah. problem's been um, that we've had a lot of players on two-year contracts. Yeah, and um, what Tommy Wright players he brought in, but the contracts are up. So clearly, supporters should judge um, our manager on next season when he brings in his own players. Okay. But if we stay up, then that's a good season. I feel like that season was about staying in the league. Yep. After so I met you at the. Trophy day last yeah, season yeah, for the yeah. championship. You got promoted, but you get a draw today and you stay up. Yes, and that would be a good achievement, you That's reckon? what this season was to be on. Remain in the league is yep. important and then build. And who's been your player of the season then? Dan Daniel Armstrong, probably. Yeah, and probably Danny Armstrong. Danny Armstrong, yeah. he's had a good season. Aiden, lovely yeah. to meet you, mate. Kilmarnock supporter. Yeah. How would you say the season's gone for Kelly? Uh, not the best, to be honest, but won some games at home. And yep. Hopefully win the day and stay in the league. Yep, win or a draw today, you stay in the league. Win. Who's been your player of the season? Don't know. Since he's came in for sale, but for yep. the start, Armstrong, he scored all the goals and kept his in it. A few other guys just said Armstrong there. Yeah. What's the score going to be today? 2 0 Kelly. One of the most recognisable faces on the channel now. Definitely. Love catching up with you here at Killy, mate. How would you say the season's gone here at Kilmarnock? Who's been your player of the season? And do you think it'd be a good achievement to come tenth? I think it's been a, it's been a very difficult season, obviously, with the team coming up for the championship, and I feel as though the championship spurs are still there. But to come today and get the win, it's definitely a bonus to stay up in the Premier League. My, my player of the season has to be Danny Armstrong. The boy's been yeah. absolutely magnificent. Everyone's been saying that today. It's, it's a catch 22. You've got a few other players in there, but Danny Armstrong was probably the best standout player. And do you think when a player like Danny Armstrong has been so good here, is that almost like a curse for a team like Killy? Because maybe certain quote unquote bigger teams will be looking at him. You go with the same point with 
Jordan Jones. You've got the Jordan Jones kind of. He's, he's a bit like Jordan Jones. He went to Rangers, but then it never really worked out for Jordan Jones. He came into it and then he came back up and won yeah. Kelly. So it's a kind of circle. Yeah. I don't think he'll go the same way as Danny Armstrong, but he needs to keep his head on his shoulders and keep it keep it grounded. And what about Ross County? What Ross, do you think about them this season? Ross County are a good team. You look at them last season. Uh, was it last week? They drew they three each. They had some great results, didn't they? St. Yeah. John's were 3 yeah. nil down. Yeah. They drew three each. You know what I mean? Well, result at Tannadice as well. Definitely. That's what you know. But especially, it's a shame for Dundee United, but I've seen them uh, give. Jim Goodwin a the job. two year deal yeah. good on him man do you know what I mean it's the same as well he done well at Samirin was that? Samirin he done well at Samirin well yep. it never worked out for Aberdeen, but he's done well do you think he'll camp. get them back up? 100% man yeah. why do you not? think they'll get promoted why again? Not? he's a quality manager yeah. why not at the end of the day one thing I'm going to give you a score prediction my man we're going to go wait till I see who's playing hold on wait till I see who's playing first or no hold on hold on hold on one now, I'm still a header. Bang! <laughs> you are an Englishman. I am. It's your birthday today? Well, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago. Oh, well, happy birthday for a couple of weeks ago. Thank and you're you. up for Scotland to celebrate, is that right? I'm up to Scotland with my wife. Yep. To celebrate. She's over there. Wave yeah. to the wife. We're on holiday. And um, is this your first ever game at Rugby Park? It is my first ever game here, yeah. What are your first thoughts of the stadium? It's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. You're seeing it on a sunny day as well, which is rare. Marvellous. And, and we've had a pie. Lovely. And that was even better. And have you seen much football in Scotland before? Oh yes. What's been your some of your favourite grounds then? Favourite grounds, Berwick Rangers, right. yep. Annan, um, yep. the borders down. The down borders, there, yep. but yep. I've, I've been to them all. Yep. Uh, even up to Ross County and seen a game there. Well, so. I've been Dingwall. Seconds in, but it already feels like a nervous energy in there. Good atmosphere as well. Look at that. Oh, it's brilliant. One nil half time, thoughts? Good, good so far. I know what I see it, I always jinx it, so I'm not seeing it to do ask me after the game. 45 minutes to go. 45 minutes of sweat, here we go. Killy fans want the pen. He's given a free kick. Free kick. Yeah, I don't tell us to do something. It's a penalty to kill it. What a massive moment. Brilliant. Danny Armstrong, Danny everyone's Armstrong. player of the Fingers season. Crossed. Fingers crossed. Everyone's been saying Armstrong, player of the season. Let's, Let's, see, what he's Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. For the Ross County fans up there, a long way for them to come. 2 0 down. Who's going to look at uh, VAR for a penalty? What do you reckon? John Beat's going to get a penalty. Oh, to Ross County. 100%. This could change the game. We're an hour in. What do you reckon? I said, I said before the game, Sam Walker would save a penalty. Penalty, Ross County. Was that good? Yeah. Decent 
second penalty, to be fair. Ross County are back in it. to go. Ross County need to score three goals. Killy are basically safe here. Danny Armstrong coming off. Would you say he's your player of the season then? Yeah. He scored today as well. Yep. Full time. Killy is safe. Definitely makes a great feeling. So last season, I was at the final game of the season where yep. they won the league against our broke. They've yep. done it on the last day again. Aye. Do you think this Killy squad got a bit of like steel about them? I definitely. We'll go to, we'll, we'll really go to build on players a wee bit more. Obviously, last season before, it was a championship team. I felt as though we bring it into the Premier League. But now they need to rebuild, they need to rebuild now. What do they need to do to improve for next season? I think they need to bring in more experienced players. I think they need to spend their money more wisely and just bring in players that are going to bring a good structure. That are going to bring a good structure. I feel as though this team could go far, but only we, we need to just build it together and stick together on this one. I'm fucking buzzing. Come on! Thank you. It's been a pretty good season for yourself personally and for the team as well to come 10th. Was the target just to stay in the league this season? Oh absolutely, I think that's the least you can expect and as the games go on it comes down to the wire. The least you can expect to stay in this league. I think if you look at what we've done all the season, we've got a semi-final, we've got to a quarter-final and we've stayed in the league. It's, um, I don't think, if you said that to the fans at the start of the season, you'd have took it with all the games we've had during that. It's been, it's been exciting. Of course, and are you proud of your own performances then? Yeah, I am. Happy with it and to score today against the yeah. team you used to play for as well? Yeah, to score in front of these fans as well. This kind of this turnout to, to set Brad up as well for his goal, it was, it was a great, great feeling and I'm just glad that we've got it done because we thoroughly, thoroughly deserved it. And what have the next couple of days got in store for you and the squad? You don't want to know. <laughs> we'll keep that off of YouTube. Thanks. Cheers, mate. And that is a wrap.